What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Wraps Baseball card break. And today we are going to do the 2020 Update Series uh, Retail Hanger Box. And uh, this is the first time we've seen the hanger boxes. Uh, the blaster boxes were out, but now the hangers are out. And uh, there's tons of them now in our local Walmart. And so we are going to uh, rip this one open and see what we can come up with. So uh, before we do that, we're uh, going to show the odds on the back here of what you can get. Sometimes people like to uh, kind of like to hold the, uh, put it on pause and check out to see what they're able to get. Obviously to get a platinum card is a one in 112,121. So uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get that. Um, but this particular uh, set, you're able to get a, um, what is it, a uh, Purple Parallel, uh, sorry, Royal Blue Base cards, two of them exclusive uh, to Walmart in each one. And so obviously we would love to be able to, uh, to pull that. So 67 cards in the set. We're going to crack this baby open and see what we're able to come up with. I think usually it's the bottom where we want to break into and hopefully we can, uh, can pull ourselves out some decent cards out of this one. So... Without further ado, we're going to get to ripping and see what we can uh, can come up with. Uh, the Tops Update Series is not exactly one of the strongest uh, sets out there, but you never know. Sometimes it could be a year or two for some of these players to develop. Obviously, we're looking for the Luis Robert short print, and that would be kind of cool to get out of this box here. Um, because I don't know if we're going to be opening too many more of the update boxes uh, from um, uh, this particular set. We've got quite a bit of cards on hand, and so we're hopefully going to see what we can come up with. So 67 cards in this set. <clears throat> Cesar Hernandez on the front. Veteran combos of Pete Alonzo and Jeff McNeil on the back. So we're going to see what we can come up with, and those arguably are the two uh, most prominent young players in the, um, in the lineup. I don't know if Brandon Nimmo is going to uh, get a little bit... Uh, um, better and start taking over the spot for one of those guys but here we go so here comes our break and uh, this is a pretty big stack so let's uh, let's do this we are gonna how are we gonna do this uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go like uh, let's go all the way down to let's go down to Lane Thomas and we'll put Lane Thomas over here and we're gonna start off with the back end of the pack and then we'll do that part so we got Lane Thomas of the St. Louis Cardinals. I've got uh, Freeway to Victory, and that looks like it's Upton and Trout, of course, uh, celebrating together. We got David Price, who never saw any action this year with the Dodgers. I don't think he's going to get a ring. Missed out on a ring this year for the Dodgers. They didn't really need him. We got Greg Garcia of the San Diego Padres, uh, second baseman, third baseman. Didn't see much of him. There's Mike Trout. And an active leader card, and of course, active leaders in slugging percentage. He is number one, followed by Pujols, Stanton, Arenado, and Cabrera. We got Austin Pruitt for the Houston Astros, Austin Pruitt. And another Mike Trout, the Trout meter's counting. So that looks like uh, Trout on three cards, on the uh, freeway card, the slugging card, and now the all-star game card. And there is Julio Tehran, Julio Tehran of the um, uh, of the Angels as well. And just looking at the back of this card, sometimes the cards are a little different, but uh, nope, this is uh, ending in one five eight eight. And I'm sure if we look at Drew Pomeranz, that one also is going to end at the bottom in one five eight eight. So there's nothing special about that. We're always looking for the short prints. We've got Giancarlo Stanton of the Yankees, and that was a league leader card. Chris Davinsky for the Houston Astros, and of course Davinsky, uh, an integral piece of their bullpen. And we've got the Punisher. We have a rookie debut of Aristides Aquino, and so Aquino obviously had a rookie in Series 1. Uh, popular card. And then we have Terrence Gore of the Los Angeles Dodgers, of course, Terrence Gore really never saw any action uh, during the postseason. I'm not sure what he saw in the regular season either. Uh, David Ortiz for the Red Sox. Of course, that's a all-star game, big poppy from a few years ago. Jed Jerko of the Milwaukee Brewers, formerly of the Padres. There's King Felix, all-star game card. And, of course, he's no longer with the Mariners. He was an Atlanta Brave this year, but he's back on the free agent market. 
And we got ourselves a Zach Green of the San Francisco Giants. This is what I mean. There's a player there that, you know, hopefully in the next year or two will uh, be able to, uh, to, 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 uh, to break out. Anthony Alford for the Toronto Blue Jays going head first. You've got another landscape card in Hunter Pence, the now retired Hunter Pence. And we got Giovanni Gallegos of the Cardinals. He had a pretty good year this year, Giovanni Gallegos. And then we have Jesus Lazardi. That's a rookie debut. Of course, his car, rookie card was in Series 1. And then we got Kyle Lewis, another rookie debut. He was the rookie of the year, and of course, he was in Series 1. And then we have Johnny Davis of the Tampa Bay Rays. Did not make an impact in the playoffs. I don't even know what he did in the playoffs, if he even was a part of that group uh, that made it to the World Series. I don't think so. Uh, Jacob deGrom, and then the other uh, part of the Mets, of the offense there, we've got Alonzo and McNeil. So there's the back half of the break. And now we're going to start off with the top half, which is where we uh, opened with. And we had Cesar Hernandez. And, of course, we've got uh, shower time for Frankie Lindor. Uh, that might be one of the last times you're going to see Lindor in a Cleveland uniform. Uh, there's a lot of trade rumors swirling. Toronto, the Mets, different teams are interested. Uh, Justin Verlander for the Houston Astros. We've got Clayton Kershaw, active leaders. And so what's he an active leader in? Uh, Clayton Kershaw is active leader in war. And he's third on the list behind Verlander, Greinke, and Hedda Hamels and Scherzer. And war, for those of you who don't know, is wins above replacement. Uh, next is Buster Posey, another player, and that's an all-star game card who skipped the season this year. And then we get into the high 10. So obviously the two Matts, Matt Olson and Matt Chapman. And uh, then we are at Giancarlo Stanton uh, from the home run derby of uh, when they were in San Diego. And there's, uh, of course, Stanton uh, hacking away. There's Brett Anderson of the Milwaukee Brewers. And then we've got Sean Murphy. Again, his rookie card was in the uh, earlier series of tops, and that's his rookie debut. And so now we go back to the uh, portrait cards, and we've got Ken Griffey Jr. of the Seattle Mariners, and uh, that was his all-star game uh, picture. And Alex Avila, who was with the Minnesota Twins, formerly the Cubs and the Tigers. Aaron Judge, New York Yankee, and again, that's the home run derby card uh, from uh, a couple of years ago, so... There he is there, home run, 2017 home run derby, 47 home runs. Aaron Judge. Jordan Montgomery, the uh, power arm for the New York Yankees, left-hander. There's another Pete Alonzo card. I think we've seen three Alonzos in this box, and that's followed by a Neil Walker, Neil Walker of the Philadelphia Phillies. Craig Kimbrell of the Chicago Cubs, and then we've got Jordy Mercer of the Detroit Tigers. Mercer ended up getting released last year. And there is another rookie card, Sam Haggerty, second baseman for the Mariners. Again, another player that is a ways, a ways away from uh, being uh, something. Drew Smiley, who uh, inked a uh, contract with the Atlanta Braves. He's bounced around since being traded from Detroit to Tampa Bay. Obviously had some arm issues. And, and now we have another active leader, and that's Joey Votto. And what is Joey Votto's active uh, leader in? He would be in on base percentage. And, of course, Trout Cabrera and the rest and so now i flip it over we got a jason castro card i'm just going to look at the back of that castro i think castro should be the same yeah there he is 1588 so nothing special there he's with the angels and there's talk about that he will be back with the angels this year but i guess houston and somebody else are interested uh zach davies of the padres there's albert Pujols active lever card i'm going to look at the back of that one there's adam pletko and we've got a Tyler Heineman of the San Francisco Giants, his rookie card. And then we've got Austin Allen for the Oakland A's, Austin Allen. And he's followed up by Clayton Kershaw from the Dodgers and, of course, Rich Hill. And now we're going to get into uh, the interesting and exciting stuff. So we've got a chrome turkey red uh, UC Sitsugo card. So Sitsugo for Tampa Bay. And so we've got Clay a numbered Clayton Kershaw card. And so what do we have here? Oh, that's pretty good. We've got ourselves a vintage stock all-star game Clayton Kershaw. And this baby is numbered out of 99, 77 out of 99. So uh, the vintage stock Clayton Kershaw, I like those ones. We should be able to flip the Kershaw and get ourselves a couple of nickels. So we're happy about that. Let's see what else we can close this uh, batch off. So Kershaw, pretty good. 
There's 20 years of the captain, Derek Jeter. We got Fred McGriff, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame. Fred McGriff. And then we're back to a landscape turkey red, just a base turkey red of Matt Clevenger, who's out for the season, has re-upped a two-year deal with the Padres, but he's gone after he's going to have Tommy John. There is Trey Turner for Washington. We got a Shun Yamaguchi star uh, pitcher who was with the Murray Giants and before that Yokohama Danabe Stars. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Shun uh, didn't have a... Uh, great season had some had some decent tie, uh, spots, but not a great year. And then we've got Mookie Betts, and that's followed by number one prospect Colton Welker of the Colorado Rockies. I don't know uh, Colton Welker uh, so much. There he is. There obviously uh, his 2019 stats, and of course he was he won the batting title in the Cal League uh, in 2018, and then. He opened up as the sixth youngest player in the Eastern League, so in Double A, but he didn't exactly light up Double A. And now here we are into those Royal Blue cards. So the first one we have is a Ty France, who uh, was traded from the Mariners, or traded from the Padres to the Mariners uh, toward the end of the year. And we got ourselves a Clayton Kershaw. So for those of you who are looking on the back, these cards are not numbered. Those are the Royal Blue parallel cards. So. Obviously, we've got a Kershaw-numbered vintage stock, and then, of course, the active leader, uh, Clayton Kershaw, in the purple. Uh, and then we go back to the base. we got Kevin Pillar, Joe Jimenez, and Trace Thompson to close out the break. And so those are those three cards over there. Well, everybody, let us know in the comment section what you thought of this retail review. Uh, you know, obviously getting a Clayton Kershaw-numbered uh, card like that with the vintage stock, that's pretty cool. I hope we can get four or five bucks for something like that. That would pay for most of the box. But really, the rest of the box is what I would call kind of average. It's not exactly, um, you know, for $17 Canadian or about uh, $12 or $13 US, I don't know if it's really worth, uh, worth the value. But uh, who knows? Maybe we hang on to some of those rookies and somebody blossoms in a few years and uh, we, uh, we get something out of it. Well, once again, everybody, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch another Last Wraps baseball video. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, once again, this has been another Last Wraps baseball video production. We hope you all have a great day. Come on back and see us again later because we're going to do it all over again. we got digital breaks coming up.